Hey there everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the domains section of Expensify. The domains feature acts as your company controls within Expensify. So here you'll be able to centrally manage company cards, set up rules and permissions for your users. So to get there, let's go ahead and hover over the settings tab to the left of your dashboard and then click into domains. The most popular reason for utilizing domains, again, is to centrally manage any company issued credit cards. It's also where you can sign up for the Expensify card and manage those here as well. Uh, it's also worth noting that we are a completely PCI and DSS compliant with bank level encryption. Your info is safe with a capital S. OK, so once we're in the company card section, you'll need to select your card provider here and input the parent credentials that all cards fall underneath. So the highest level of credentials you can get, make sure you put those in instead of just your personal login. Now, once this is complete, we'll pull in all the cards that fall underneath this parent account. If you're using a commercial card feed, such as a Visa, Amex, or MasterCard, these are gonna be imported directly from the credit card provider. So you'll see we have the options here for Visa commercial cards and MasterCard commercial cards. Select the one that you'll be using and then follow the prompts here. For Visa cards, you'll need a VCF feed. For MasterCards, you'll need a CDF feed, etc., etc. Once you're able to obtain that, go ahead and reach out to us by simply clicking the little thought bubble down here. That'll put you in touch with concierge. Let them know that you need to import a commercial card feed and they'll know exactly what to do. So once the cards have been imported, we'll need to assign each one to its respective holder. Employees' company card expenses will then populate into their own Expensify account one by one. We recommend putting the start date as today, so users don't have dozens of retroactive expenses from previous weeks or months. It's best to start fresh. From here, admins will be able to see these transactions as soon as they're on a report. And better yet, when users smart scan their receipts, they'll automatically match with the corresponding card transactions once that transaction has been posted from the bank. To assign the cards to their designated card holders, all you'll need to do is use these two dropdowns. The first one will be a list of your users. This is going to be everybody you've invited either to a policy or under the domain itself under users. It's worth noting that these users have to be people that have been invited under their work issued email address, the domain itself. There can't be any public email addresses, uh, no Gmails, no Yahoo's, no Hotmail's, nothing like that. The second drop down will be all of the cards that are under that account that we just imported in. And then it's simply a matter of connecting the dots, assign the user to their respective card, set the start date. Again, we recommend starting today going forward and hit assign and you're good to go. If you've already integrated with NetSuite, Xero, Intact, or QuickBooks, you can also use the Edit Exports button to the right to connect the card to a specific credit card account within your accounting software. We also offer a great feature to make reconciling your company cards as easy as possible. As we can see here, in the Reconciliation tab, I have the option to filter by specific date ranges. I can enter a certain end and start date and calculate a custom statement period. By running the custom reconciliation, the imported total will then display the total of all expenses imported into Expensify from the period that you've selected. If there's a variance from your statement, you can track down who owns the expenses to easily determine which cards don't match up. So to recap, your domain can be set up to pull in and assign company cards to your users. But the majority of the features within domains will require you to verify your domain for security purposes. This allows for fuller, more in-depth company controls. To do so, you'll need to add a DNS record. Once completed, your domain should be verified within 24 to 48 hours. If you're having trouble with this process, feel free to reach out to us via chat or through concierge at Expensify.com. Once your domain is verified, you'll have access to the other features. From the Domain Members section, You'll be able to add or delete users' accounts and move users between different permission groups. To add another domain admin, you can simply add the email address here and they'll be granted those permissions. Domain administrators have the ability to edit domain settings and create new users via the domain or by inviting them to policies. 
The primary contact will be the point of contact for issues or notifications within the domain and must be a domain admin. Next up we have the Groups page. This will allow us to create permission groups and edit permission group settings. Anything you enable, disable, or edit within this permission screen will apply to every employee included in that group. Now for these groups, you can enable options like strictly enforce policy rules to make sure all rules you set in the policy are mandatory to follow before expenses get submitted. Also, you can restrict expense policy creation slash removal. This prevents employees from creating new policies. These rules, along with others, will ensure that your permissions are set up as they should be for your company. Here we have the Reporting Tools tab. This is where we have the ability to generate a summary of your employees' travel plans or reconciliation reports by selecting one of the report types. Simply select from this dropdown, set the date range, and you can generate that report. As you can see, we can download or view those reports as well as rerun them dynamically. Lastly, Expensify offers SAML and SSO capabilities. If you're interested in setting this up, that can be done right here. Thanks so much for taking the time to learn about setting up your company controls within Expensify.